I'm uh, just uh, finishing up setting my up my winter studio, which will be at my house. I'm trying to get everything arranged here so that I can uh, work here and uh, not have to go out in sub-zero weather to go to my studio. I've got one light source right now set up. Um, I hope to have two pretty quick. i got to figure out where I'm going to put the second one, but uh, that's what I've got so far. And uh, just uh, trying to get everything attached and and uh, and ready to go on Monday so that I can get back to work on my new instructional DVD on sculpting this guy. A uh, life-size bust using the true form armature. Um, I'm going to uh, try to make it a one disc DVD but uh, right now it's just looking like it might end up being two. Um, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. It's, it's an hour and five minutes or a little over an hour now and I want to see if I can't get that. I mean I have DVDs the DVDs I've already got out uh, go up to almost an hour and a half, so I may be able to get the final workings of uh, the hair and uh, all the gear that he's going to wear. He's not going to—he's going to be bare, bare chested and bare shouldered. He's going to have this uh, uh, shield on his back, um, which is the armature is actually made out of uh, cardboard right now, and I'll be uh, filling in back here with foam between uh, here and there and I'll show you how to do that. Um, I've already made the foam arms and uh, actually made a foam extension onto his chest so that uh, I don't have to use as much clay. I picked this up uh, at the studio and brought it here to the house and I bet this thing doesn't even weigh five pounds. It's just amazing. Um, all this uh, foam and, and foam uh, armature underneath it from True Form is just well, it just saves you t so much time. Just so much time. So anyway, I'm going to continue uh, setting up and uh, see you next week. Twenty-five inches. Wow.